Yes, yeah, so now we're gonna move along to our candidates. So again, candidates, thank you for coming. Um, this is your chance to introduce yourselves. Um, and the first question I'd like you to answer before even you go into biography is, why are you running? Um, I had a very interesting um, conversation actually um, with the security guard to set up this. And he honestly was asking like, what kind of normal person wants to be a politician? And um, because I mean, I think the big reason why um, youth maybe um, don't vote, I don't think it's because we're not interested. I don't think it's because we don't care about the issues. I think it's because we don't really trust politicians. And so um, along with talking about yourself and your party and your party's platform, I'd really like for you to tell us why are you doing this? And uh, we'll start with Wally. Thank you, thank you, Shelby, for inviting us, and thanks to, to the group. Uh, it's really uh, uh, incumbent on us to really uh, get out and vote. And our youth, as I go around in the community, I've seen people who have, who have never voted. And they kind of, uh, everyone is telling me that because nobody does what they promise, you know. The, so, so, please, but still, Voting is very important. So let me just introduce uh, to you, my, uh, like about, like, tell me something about myself. Uh, I was born and raised uh, in Somalia, and I, my first, you know, political protest was when I was grade eight. Uh, I did participate. So I ever, like, uh, uh, even at early, early age, I was uh, involved, and I was interested in social justice. And at grade eight. There was corruption in the national exam. And so someone actually sold the, the national uh, grade 8 exam to some people and then so that they can get more uh, higher marks. So we were very upset about that. So myself and the group of the grade 8s, we uh, put together a, you know, like a whole campaign to correct that uh, you know, injustice. And we were able to do it. Uh, and we kind of uh, went around in the, in, the, in the small village that I was born and, and, and did what we could to get our rights back. Uh, so at that time also, uh, like the, where I grew up, there was not you know, free uh, and fair elections. So when, uh, as an activist, a young activist, when I tried to do those things, we were shot at. I was one of the people who were shot at and we uh, and so that so it, it, that gives me you know uh, like uh, this uh, energy that this is very important to participate in democracy. So when I uh, of course Somalia had troubles in the last twenty years and I left there. Actually, t tomorrow is my eighteenth you know anniversary, eighteenth year where, uh, like in Canada. So eighteen years. So. I left that place and I, I came here where I had only $50 when I arrived. Uh, I now have a family, four children, two boys and two girls, all going to the public uh, schools because I am a great support, great supporter for public education. My background is teaching. I have been a teacher. I did my master's degree in education uh, at the University of Ottawa. Uh, so I'm alumni, so those who go to the University of Ottawa. So, uh, so that's my background. And why am I running uh, after so many years, 18 years in Canada? Uh, I think it's about time. I, 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 have, I felt like many other uh, members of the, of the community that I, I, I live in our South, we felt that we have been neglected by our elected officials. That our schools, for example, in the riding of all, all our South, uh, the EQAO, 50% of the schools or almost 50% are failing. And actually it's consistent with the last five years. And, and we know why. And it's something to do with uh, the funding formula, the, the education funding formula brought in by HAC. Okay, you so can that answer that during that specific question. So that's... Uh, so that's uh, so now you need to talk about why you're running for the NDP. So um, I, I, I'm... Uh, and, and the NDP party has a very affordable platform. And it's a, it's a platform that puts people first. It's a platform that uh, you know addresses all our uh, the social justice issues that in our writing uh, space. Today. So that's why I'm running, and uh, I hope you'll support us. All right. So we're going to give it up to, over to um, 
Alex, and then we're going to break for prayer, because unfortunately we are running a bit late, and then Yasser, you'll come afterwards. So Alex, how old are you first? Uh, I'm 20 years old. Awesome. Woo! So you are the young candidate here. And uh, okay, so definitely we'd like to know why, why you're running, why you're running with the Green Party, and then what your party's platform is. Um, so first of all, I just wanted to thank the organizers and welcome you all to Ottawa West and PN. It's my writing. Uh, okay, where are the West Siders? West Side represent, okay. It's weak, it's just some weakness right now, okay. I, I was born in this riding, um, I've lived in this riding all my life, uh, and, and I love uh, the community here, but I certainly don't think it's perfect. And um, I guess for me, even though a lot of people have questioned why I'm running politics, it's always been in my blood. Um, my mother and father are both immigrants, my mother's side of the family came from South America, and my grandfather was a labor activist there, um, and he fought for equal rights for unions, um, he faced a lot of marginalization in his community at the time. Um, I'm a student of political science. I've always been involved in politics. So for me, the next logical step was running for office. Um, and there was a need here for a Green Party candidate, so I decided to run for the Green Party. And the reason I decided to run for the Green Party of Ontario was because, uh, in my opinion, they're the only party stressing that there is not a contradiction between sound physical and economic policies and protecting our natural environment, an environment which I know all of us care for in one sense or another. Um, and we're also the only party, in my opinion, who goes beyond the old left-right divides. The issues before us in this election are of such a complex nature that it's not simply a question of spending more money or cutting taxes. It's not a question of taking Ontario more to the left or more to the right. It's about proffering those policies which will ensure economic, social, and environmental development in the 21st century, and about policies that will help us transition to a post-carbon economy. Um, so that's essentially why I'm running. Um, we have a, a fully costed platform. Um, I think it's a realistic platform. I think the message we're trying to get out this election is that we're not a one-issue party. Uh, that we're about sustainability, that applies to economy as much as society. Um, and yeah, that's essentially it. Great. So we're going to break for prayer now, brother. So the final direction we're going to have is with Yasser Nakvi. Um, he told me he's going to try to do something exciting, so we'll see how that goes. Um, so he's a little candidate for Ottawa Centre, and he's going to be telling us about you know why he got into politics and why he decided to be with the Liberals and what the platform is. And then we'll be getting into um, our questions. Assalamu yeah. alaikum. Good evening. So good to see all of you. Uh, thank you very much for coming. Let's give a big round of applause to Qatar Shalbi and Papa Shah for doing this and the voice of Muslim youth. Give them a big round of applause. <laughs> this kind of discussion is very, very important. And, and I really hope that uh, once we're done tonight, one, you'll be very excited about the political process. Politics is not a bad word. Politics is what defines us as a democracy. And that's the most incredible part about our country is that every single one of us have a voice. And we have a voice through our vote, which many countries that a lot of us have come from, that is not the case. So you, in the end of the day, get to make decisions through people like all of us who are running. And for me, what political process is like a job interview. I'm looking for a job, right? And I'm asking you to vote for me, give me a job so that I can work for you. So that's why politics is not something bad. Politics is something very important. Politics which really helps us do things so that we can continue to build a great province, a great city, a great country. How many of you are of voting age? Oh, almost all of you. How many of you have voted before? Great. How many of you have never voted? Because you guys are not a voter of age. Adam, Adam and Ibrahim. Yeah. That's good. I like the excitement that you want to vote. Give you a few more years and get there. We want to make sure that every single one of you vote, and not only you, but your family members and, and your friends who vote. Because if you're not voting, you have no voice. You know that movie? Zip it. That's it. That's what applies. And every time you have a complaint about something, think about first, did I vote? Because if you did not vote, maybe you lost your right to complain. 
Because when you had a time to make a change or have a say, well, you did not participate. So obviously decisions are being made, you may not like. Because you didn't get to have a say. So that's why I think voting is important. That's why I'm in politics. Because I came from a country with my parents where there was no democracy because there was no right to vote. Because my father was imprisoned for nine months as a political prisoner because his offense was that he took a bunch of people out to demonstrate that we should have a right to vote. But the military generals didn't like that because he was questioning the authority and he was saying that let the people decide what kind of government they want. So they said, ah, you're not our kind of guy and they put him with murderers and rapists and all kinds of people for nine months. So my memories as a 10-year-old boy was going and visiting my dad every weekend while he was shackled uh, both hands and feet because he wanted his children to have a right to vote. So that's why when we came to Canada, he did, my parents brought us to a free country. And I came in 1988. The very first campaign I was involved in was 1990. And there has not been a single campaign, federal, provincial, or municipal, that I have, since I could vote, that I have not voted, or I have not participated in helping somebody, or for the last four years, running myself. Because I feel that I will be dishonoring my parents if I did not vote, if I did not participate in the political process. Because that's why my dad went to jail for nine months. Imagine that. And that's why I got into politics, because I want to make sure, one, that the country that I call home, Canada, it has equal opportunities for everyone. One, two, that all of you, the youth, are able to do whatever you want to do as you're growing up. For me, that's why I got into politics. That's why I got into public service, so that we can always try to better ourselves. There's always room for improvement so that we can always make sure that everybody has the same opportunities available. That we don't divide based on race, color, religion. Because that's not we do that in our country. That's why I got into public service. That's why I'm running again, because I want to continue to do that work. Because I'm a public servant. My job is to help you. Why did I choose the Liberal Party? Is that how I, I felt the closest? Um, for me, Liberal political party as a, as a political party is something which is fiscally responsible and socially progressive. I feel that the government has a role to play in helping people who need help. Government should not stay just out and say, oh, let the free market decide. I think government has a very important role to create equal opportunities for everyone, to make sure that if you are vulnerable, if you are disabled, if you are a child, that you should have uh, the government should look after you. Because not all of us are of the same capabilities or abilities. And government has a strong function to play by bringing socially progressive policies. And that's why I support a public, publicly uh, funded, university accessible healthcare system so that your means don't dictate whether you get healthcare or not. You get it regardless of who you are. That's why I support a publicly educated, uh, publicly funded education system, because we all have the right to get the same education. It's the great equalizer we've got. Doesn't matter what your last name is, doesn't matter how long you've lived in this country, we all get the same education so that we can excel. So that's why I chose to be a liberal. Um, liberal Party has a great tradition in this country in terms of bringing equality. The Charter of Rights and Freedom, a doc piece of document, our constitution that uh, enshrines our right, was brought by a liberal government. It was Pierre Elliott Trudeau, a liberal prime minister, who brought that. Um, that makes me a liberal. And, and I'm very proud to be, and I'm very proud to run again as a liberal candidate in Ottawa Center. Thank you very much for your attention, and look forward to some really hard-hitting questions for all three of us. Thank you.